Right, here we have the Beko or Eco, whichever way you wish to pronounce that. The Beko CFD6151W, which I'm sure stands for white. Um, it's just a coffee percolator, I think they're called. Um, just basically your normal coffee machine. Um, it's in white, which is not my preferred choice, but needs must. Um, we're just going to do a quick, <coughs> excuse me, quick unboxing. Show you what you get. Uh, hopefully, it's not massive amounts of stuff. Um, it's a very tall box, um, taller than I was expecting, but hopefully that's because it's sat on cable and not that it's ginormous. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is it out of the box. Um, there was just pretty much two pieces of uh, card to hold it in place and some bubble wrap towards the bottom. Um, there is something else here which <laughs> seems a bit bizarre. Um, more bubble wrap which was in the one side of here with that part cut out and in the other side which if I show you that in the other side with some instructions oh you can get it in black what pain Right, so let's get it out of that packaging now. Right, we're still going. Um, that initial bag was quite the pain. Um, it's quite a tight bag, which is unnecessary, shall we say. But let's continue. And there she is, basically. All of the packaging is off bar the plug pin connector um, this is retailing for 59.99 which isn't particularly expensive for a coffee machine um, it looks like quite a nice quality one so far whether or not and this is the crunch point my previous coffee machines that do this type of coffee um, they've always been quite rubbish because the hot plate on the bottom doesn't actually keep the coffee hot for long so me I would make if I made a whole pot of coffee which is normally around 10 cups I believe um, I can have one cup where it's nice and hot then the rest are just basically warm which is pointless so you waste all of that money on coffee. I know, yes, you could make a smaller amount of coffee, but you might just as well have a whole pot. Surely the point is to be able to make a, a nice big amount and have it on standby for when you want it, in my experience anyway. Um, but that's gonna be the crunch point. So far, design-wise, it looks quite nice, um, a bit, bit big, but hopefully the bigness is hiding goodness rather than these cheap £20 ones that are rubbish and barely keep your coffee warm. Um, I do drink quite a lot of coffee as well, so that's also why I make a big pot of it, but it's no good if it's just warm. Now, so far it looks really good I've noticed one thing I've not gone over it just yet because I'm going to actually do a proper review of this but I've noticed one thing and there's like um, an area towards the back where you fill the water up and that appears that it may be open so dust and dirt and stuff can just float into 
that area which is very unpleasant um, I've not looked at it just yet I've literally just taken it out of the box and here we are now um, I've not gone over it and had a proper look I've not even looked inside just yet um, but I'm hoping that isn't the case when I seen the pictures for this machine um, it shows that you can remove the water compartment which is what I do with my other coffee machine um, it's easier just to lift that off take it to the sink fill it up with water and then plonk it back onto the machine and away you go where I've got well where I will have this placed is under a unit um, where there's not a lot of clearance so you wouldn't be able to fill it up there anyway you'd always have to pull the machine out to fill it up which is what I have to do with the other machines so it's quite normal for me um, but the fact that if it's open and f dust, dirt, feathers, fluff because where I have my coffee making facilities it's right by a door um, so a lot of stuff comes in and out and during the summer the doors open so stuff will blow in going back last year there used to be a tree over our neighbor's garden and it used to drop seeds and they got absolutely everywhere um, extremely annoying but thankfully that tree has now been cut down so hopefully this year is going to be pleasant um, but stuff happens basically so I really hope that that is not how this is set up if so you're losing brownie points there but anyway I've gone on I'm um, gonna get this all set up have a go see whether it functions how I want and whether it makes a decent cup of coffee I've got some Starbucks coffee um, and I've also got some Lavazza I think it was called I was recommended to get that um, whether or not they're any good we shall see but thanks for watching this video uh, join me possibly in a couple of days or so for the actual review and my thoughts of how good or bad this is um, sorry about that noise that's my budgie one of them they're being quiet today which is surprising um, but yeah please hit subscribe thumbs up join me on the next video of this which should be a review telling you whether or not you should actually buy one um, so yeah thanks for watching see you next time